What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage and welcome to the Road to Horsepower. In the Road to Horsepower, we've been testing a 212cc Hemi Predator from Harbor Freight. We started off with jetting up the carb and putting exhaust on it, and then we went to removing the governor, adding heavier valve springs and a billet flywheel. Now we saw in the last video that we did lose a little power when we went to the billet flywheel, and that's because it has eight degrees of timing advance built into it. Now without an aftermarket cam, we're not gonna utilize that advanced timing. So that's the reason we lost the one foot bound of torque. Later, we are gonna be testing the flywheel with a offset timing key, and we're gonna actually retard it eight degrees to put the billet flywheel back to stock timing and test it before we remove the cam. But that's in a later video. Today, we're gonna to be testing carburetors. We're gonna start off with the stock carb with the Performance Jet from Go Power Sports. Then we're gonna move on to the VM22 knockoff carburetor. I feel like this is the most go-to carb for these engines because it's the most affordable. We also have linked down below every one of these parts, the ones we have put on and the ones we plan on putting on this engine. So make sure to check those out. That helps this series to keep on going. The next carb we're gonna be testing is a true VM22 millimeter Makuni. This is a round slide carb. It is a genuine uh, Japanese Makuni. And I find that the Japanese true Makunis last way better. They have less issues than the knockoffs. So I prefer to spend a little bit more money and go with the true Makunis. Our all time favorite carb is the last one we're gonna be testing. That is a flat slide VM24 carb. That is a 24 millimeter carb. It has a flat slide in it. And I feel like the flat slides in our testing gives you a better throttle response and a little bit more power, of course, because it's two millimeters bigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the stock carb. We're gonna work our way through these carbs until we end on the VM24 flat slide and see how much power we're getting uh, with the governor removed and a stock cam in this engine. So let's get it on the dyno and let's start making some power.
All right, guys, so I have my cheat sheet all made up here on all the horsepower numbers, and it's pretty impressive what a single part like a carburetor can do for you. So the engine with the governor removed and the stock style jetted up carburetor made 8.46 horsepower and 9.79 foot-pounds of torque, as you can see on the graph here. Now jumping up to the VM22 Genuine Makuni, we made 10.53 horsepower and 11.6 foot-pounds of torque. That's a gain of two horsepower and 1.8 foot-pounds of torque. That's pretty massive gains from a single part. But when we jump up to the knockoff VM22 carburetor, the clone version, we made 11.31 horsepower and 11.44 foot-pounds of torque. That's a gain of 2.85 horsepower and 1.65 foot-pounds of torque. So the torque stays about the same through all these carburetors. Uh, the aftermarket ones. It is a jump over stock no matter what all these carburetors was. We can see that we gained almost a horsepower more with the clone VM22 than the Genuine. I've heard some people say the Venturis are bigger on them, but uh, that's pretty impressive from a part that's 40 bucks to a part that's like $110, uh, $120 for the Genuine VM22. So the VM24, which is the flat side carb, our favorite, we've said it for years, it's easier to tune, has a better throttle response, and we just all around like it the most. It made a gain of 3.46 horsepower and 1.69 foot-pounds of torque. That's a 29% increase in horsepower and a 15% increase in torque, and it is a $135 carburetor. So if you went with the just jet and the air filter adapter like we ran in the uh, original video, then that's about 40 bucks. For the same price as that, you can buy the VM22 clone carburetor. So in my opinion, if you're wanting to boost up from a bone stock engine, I would go ahead and remove the governor, put 18 pound valve springs, a billet flywheel, and do the Mikuni uh, clone, the VM22. But I highly recommend if you have the extra money to buy the 24 millimeter carb, it is way better. And the prices that were mentioned in, in today's video is just the standalone carbs. That is not counting. You can buy the kits on Go Power Sports that come with the intake and the air filter and I think even a throttle cable because you will need the throttle cable when you jump up to the Makuni style carbs. So guys, let me know what you think about these numbers. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. If you had the money and you was building a mini bike or go-kart, which one of these setups would you buy? I know I'm gonna stick with my tried and true VM 24 millimeter carburetor, and we will be testing some more uh, carbs in the future on the channel, so stay tuned for that. We got a lot of stuff planned for this Road to Horsepower series. It's been super fun making it. It's so awesome to see what little changes can do on these engines, and I'm super excited to uh, continue on with this series. So make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to check out the parts links in the video description. They do help us out. And uh, there's also the AMSL links down there. If you use that link and become a preferred customer, you can save up to 25% on your AMSL purchase. And that's huge because it is the best oil that you can put in your engine. We've been running the Dominator Racing Oil 10W30 weight and it's been working awesome. I have changed it once in this engine because we are running it and abusing it pretty hard on the dyno and I just wanna keep the engine fresh and uh, to make it last through the whole series. So uh, let us know what you think. Thank you for watching The Road to Horsepower. Have fun making more horsepower, guys. We love you and God bless.